So now that we've got all of the holes for the through holes recessed drilled, it's time to take the old through holes out. I'm going to probably start with these three right here because they're in a relatively easy to access location. They're in the head. One is the small one is intake. Uh, the, one of the big ones is um, black water out and the other one is gray water out. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to um, spin those bad boys out without too much problem. Let's go inside the boat and see what happens. Welcome to the head. The Leckerstein unit has been taken out a long, long time ago, and the plumbing has been taken out a long time ago. And as you can see, the through holes are totally accessible there. Okay, so we're uh, buried in the head here. It's kind of warm. I'm getting sweaty. That's why the uh, headband. And we've run into two challenges so far. One is that the uh, the bolts that hold the seacock and in place they run through the hull, and they are countersunk standard type screws. They're not actually bolts. And um, the inside of the bolt is kind of corroded and uh, gunked up. So putting a wrench on them is no problem. Getting a twist on them is no problem. But when you put sufficient enough torque on them, the screw in the hull just starts spinning, which means I've got a problem. The solution is relatively easy. I just need a set, another set of hands, something on the outside of the hull with a big screwdriver to hold it while I turn them off. Of course, it's going to be a long and boring job because working inside this very tiny space is a bit awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare for having somebody give me a hand by taking the cabinetry inside the head uh, a little bit apart so that um, I have easier access. The other challenge that um, I'm facing at the moment is I dropped my wrench. And of course, it went under the pan, didn't it? Let me show you. It went way down. There. Just out of reach. So I'm going to take this board here out and uh, hopefully that'll give me access to my wrench and it'll give me better access to the seacocks. Stay tuned. Well I got the board out and I have much better access. Check this out. Okay now I can get to the uh, bolts on the seacock with little to no problem at all. The only one that might be an issue. Nope, I can still get to that one too. It's that one there. So uh, that was a worthwhile five minutes invested. So I'm going to get at her. Well, we've reached a bit of an impasse. I managed to get one of the seacocks out. This one right here. But when I was working on the other two, I ran into a wee bit of a problem. The screws are standard and uh, they have a nut on the inside. So when you put a screwdriver on this and start turning it, the nut turns on the inside. Well, I remedied that by putting a wrench on the nut inside and jamming it up against bits and pieces inside the boat. However, uh, I used the biggest flathead screwdriver that I have, which is pretty substantial, and it simply wasn't enough to turn it out. So then I put a, a wrench on the screwdriver to turn it, and it basically wrecks the slot, as you can see there. They're quite damaged. If I throw a screwdriver on that right now, it'll just pop out. Uh, this one, I thought I would do the intelligent thing, and I drill it out. So the correct size drill that I have um, wouldn't bite into the metal. I spent probably five minutes drilling and it wasn't anywhere near close. So then I thought, well, I'll drill a smaller hole and use an easy out, which is what I did. I drilled a nice small hole in there and I put my easy out in there and uh, put my drill in reverse to back it out. And uh, 
it was more than the drill could handle that just stopped the drill. So again, I put a, a wrench on the easy out and turned it. And as you can see, busted off the easy out inside. So for that one, um, not sure what I'm going to do, but for these other ones, I will probably have to go and buy a drill bit to drill them, or I will have to weld a nut on the outside here and uh, take it off with a, a wrench. Um, I'm still kind of thinking of different ideas about how to approach this because I've got well, I've got one done, so I've got six of these bad boys to take out. I've got uh, two in the back on the port side, two in the back on the starboard side. And uh, they're in awkward spaces inside the boat, so I'm not sure. They're held in place by a little bit of epoxy, but not enough to hold them. But that's going to be a problem for another day. Hard fought victories are the best. I've been working away on the seacocks and I've got four of the seven total removed, four of the big ones. Ironically, there is four screws that are preventing me from removing the rest. I've uh, put the wrenches on all of them and the remaining three seacocks have one screw each with the exception of one which has two screws and uh, they're proving to be challenging that's okay anyways I wanted to show you the wreckage the motley assortment of creative permutations of seacocks you can see they're all uh, pretty patinaed with uh, corrosion. The uh, This one was under the sink. This one here was a cockpit drain. And this one here was a cockpit drain. Uh, this one here was um, water out. The more I look at them, the happier I am that I made the decision to replace them all. So uh, whoever monkey these things together i really didn't have a clue but they will be done right and it will be awesome so as always fair winds falling seas and god bless